Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik. So we're going to do a card for each of them to see. Let's see what their energy is right now for Zayn And for Gigi. Oh, nice. Security and purity. Can I get another one to go with that, please? Wonders. And fulfillment. Nice. So it looks like <clears throat> with wonders of the universe here, uh, I feel like this is kind of crystal power here. This is connecting, maybe security, clarity. That's on the bottom of the deck for both truth. Okay, so possibly wondering about some type of truth. Somebody's getting some fulfillment for Gigi with some purity, maybe needing to um, have a salt's bath or sage or some type of kind of feeling um, truth inside truth like this is truth within being true to themselves okay let's look at <laughs> what are they attracting in for each of them let's see how about Zane what is he attracting in at this time Oh, he's manifesting. We have number eight here. And that's all about mastering the action. Having some type of resolution. And what about Gigi? Oh, she may be finding a man with a coin. Maybe with Zane. Maybe with someone else. She's reflecting though. Assessing. Maybe gaining some knowledge or doing some spiritual work here. We have 5343. Maybe a message for these two. 53 for Zane, 43 for her. Ooh, we have deceit for him. A 25, which is 7, and that's reflecting. There may have been some deceit within here. There's healing of all ages. She may have some major healing abilities here. Um, just her light shining. Maybe what is bringing that healing in? What's the combined energy here? First chakra. This has to do with the root chakra. This is about being grounded here. Huh. I mean, maybe needing to meditate. And number eight again. And that's taking action towards some type of resolution. All right, so let's see what we have here. They may be trying to resolve some things, some deceit that happened between the two of them. Uh, let's look at what clarity is needed for Zane. Hmm, maybe something to do with his occupation. Number seven, and that's reflecting, assessing, gaining knowledge about something for his occupation. And she may be a gift. Number eight, that's also mastery, action, and resolution. So there may be some type of gift that she's receiving. She may be getting a gift from someone, or she is the gift, the blessing I'm getting. What's the occupation? Mm. Something that might have to go to court with number five, and we had number eight, oh no, seven. 7 and 5, so 75 for him. And what about Gigi? What's this gift? Mm, she may have a message of concern about this. She may want uh, to change her mind about something, some type of blessing. We have 8 and 5, so 85 for her. What's her combined energy? Oh, it has to do with a mature woman. Number 6, maybe a mother figure. This may have something to do with storing cooperation and harmony between the two of them. This may be a judge or something. 
Maybe there's a custody battle or something going on here, or visitation rights. Let's see what we have for any blockages between these two. What are the blockages between these two? Hmm. So they may have chemistry, but is it with each other? Well, maybe they didn't get to know each other quite enough to really realize what they were getting into. Give me another card for Zane. Ah, there's unrequited love here. So doesn't uh, look at her the same as maybe he once did. So what about her? Ah, she may still have romantic feelings for him or getting to know someone else. What's the... Yeah, somebody's worth waiting for. So this may be about her waiting for him or this could be someone else coming in for both of them because there is unrequited love here. And it looks like divine timing is at work. So something is worth waiting for when it comes to these two. Uh, it might be someone new coming in for each of them. What's the hidden emotions that they haven't spoken? So I'm scared of rejection. Okay. And what about her? What's going on with her? Whoa, just about lost that one. I don't want to be alone. Well, that's not the right reason to be with somebody. That might be codependency here. And that fear of rejection is maybe holding him back from actually putting himself out there. And that may be an issue too. There may be some healing that needs to be done here. What's this scared of rejection? I wish it could be a different person. And what about her? It hurts so much. Okay. So maybe things went downhill between these two. Obviously somebody was hurt here. And what's their combined energy? I'm stuck in the versions of us together. So definitely thinking about one another and what they did have at one point. But there is unrequited love here. So now that could be because of the breakup, mind you. So let's see what who's feeling bad about. What are they feeling bad about? Let's find out from each of them. We got Zane here. What is he feeling bad about? I wonder if you're happy without me. <laughs> and what about Gigi? We need to let each other go. So she definitely doesn't want to have him back if there was some uh, deception or unrequited love here. What about him? I feel you leaving me behind. And what about her? I look for you everywhere. So she may be uh, comparing him to any new people that come through. It was my fault, but I blame you. So they may have blamed each other. It may have been the blame game instead of seeing what lessons they may have learned from one another. Let us see. What is the root cause of these feelings? What is the root cause between these two? For Zane? So contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. So he did learn something here. Still blaming and feeling unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. That's because there was unrequited love here. Just tell me about the soul contract. Disagreements. I wish you understood how I feel. So there may have been some con uh, communication issues here about being able to communicate with one another. And hope. I haven't given up on us yet. Oh no. Not feeling appreciated. Not having the requited love that was necessary here. Let's see. Maybe, yeah, he might be healing. Having that self-love. And I feel like this might be why Spirit's saying, wait for him to heal things. Um, having that self-love and the both of them healing things. Then maybe things can work out between the two. Or somebody might el someone else might be coming in for these two. So we'll look at tarot and see what's coming in for that. So let's look about how they feel about one another. Let's see. How is Zane feeling about Gigi? I'm not the same person. Okay. 
And what about Gigi? I remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. I miss you. So she definitely misses him in her life as a, as a friend. Kind of the thing, fun things they used to do together, perhaps. What about him? He's not the same person. I will take action soon. Please believe in me. So he might try to go back with her. Let's just see what's going down here. I can't take being away from you any longer. Oh boy. So what's the combined energy? I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. Now this may be one-sided here. So let us see what they don't see coming. For Zane, what doesn't he see coming, spirit? Ah, this relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. And for her, abundance. Receiving what you need and unconditional love. <laughs> so, wow. Okay. And what about him? Let's get in more cards for him. Oh, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, transition. And there's that separation. Wow, he just got boom, boom, and boom. And she's getting all these things. So he may have been the one that uh, caused the issue, maybe with somebody else happen in there hmm yep they're gonna be meeting new people yeah getting back out there <laughs> all right well on that note let's see what outcome we have here what is the outcome for these two tell me what the outcome is going to be for these two here that might be why they're going to court. They're not getting along, and that could be why they're having an issue, maybe having problems with custody or something to do with a child. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So this may be dating other people, and only time will Hell, okay, let's see. What about Zane? Tell us about Zane. My beloved, we may be physically apart, spiritual, we're always united for love, transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So he may be speaking to someone through, um, I kind of feel telepathy here. And what about her? manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become a reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance wow so she definitely i feel has someone new coming in for her so does he but he may be trying to rush things or control things and spirits kind of saying hang on a second wait a second don't rush into this let you need to see if this person is going to fit so beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. This is twin flamish. So they may be both meeting a twin flame or one of them will be. Let's crack the deck and see. Oh, ho, ho! Well, that, can I? Come on now. Spirit is confirming that twin flame here. Your passion ignites. Twin flame comes up. I can't make it up. I mean, I'm feeling it. And it was there with this saying here about the reflecting. So, hot dang. <laughs> they may be meeting their twin flame soon. Wow, that's a pretty rare type of love coming in for these two. Now, let us look at what's coming in and if it's with each other or someone new. It looks like somebody new, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there. Whew. Okay, so what is this truth between these two? Uh-oh. Seven of Wands and the Fool. Okay. Somebody feels this is too risky to take this leap of faith with whatever is going on here. This is their energy right now. So somebody's feeling risky, and I feel like that may be him. 
and seven of wands in reverse. I mean, we are looking at not trusting your intuition or some type of imbalance of wealth. So some type of truth about wealth here. Imbalance of wealth. Somebody might have much more significant money. I mean, they're both very successful. So they're not going to have a problem with providing for this child. So somebody's feeling something's risky here, but it's a truth. They're I, I feel like it's a truth, like for court, coming together and meeting in the middle here, something like that. Let's see. Give me the truth. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. So it has to do with finances. Okay. All right. So maybe child support. Hmm. What is the deceit here? Ace of Cups. So this has to do with um, <clears throat> love, actually. So, <laughs> wow, this is feeling unloved or some emotional loss. Maybe he loses custody here. Somebody's not going to get custody. Yeah. Needing to be patient here. What is that? Like that is that peace and harmony. Huh. This is being grounded. Hierophant. And I am free of your shit. Now this is the truth here. And Hierophant, this is to do with an institution here. So the court system I'm getting, somebody's having to wait for court about some type of truth. So somebody may have lied to the courts or the truth was too risky about maybe divulging their full amount of money that they own or Maybe there's something going on here. If somebody does not feel loved or invested in Seven of Wands. I'm kind of getting against all odds, but this is not like that because it's reversed. So they may not... Um, huh. This is kind of... Seven of Wands in reverse. This is kind of like not trusting themselves to do the right thing. What what is this? Huh. Now this is about a, a society or institution could be like justice system, the truth. Somebody's being patient about this. Somebody knows something's up here. Okay, so what's this first chakra, this deceit? What do we got with that? Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody has anxiety about this. Six of Pentacles for her. Somebody from the past? Well, this is about uh, equal give and take. I'm trying to be equal give and take or generous about something here. Somebody has anxiety. One's phased and one isn't. So what do we have here? What's with the mature woman? Seven of Pentacles. Who they're going to invest in? Investments. Five of Cups. Wow. Okay. So there's a loss or disappointment sadness here. Bye, bitch. Uh-oh. What's the bye, bitch? Why is the fire? There's a loss here. Ten of swords. There's some deceit going down. Uh-oh. Seven, ten, five. 
What's the worth waiting for here? Oh, we have the wheel is turning. Hello. Okay. Oh, it's a burden. Maybe those burdens, what comes around, it goes around. I'm stuck in the version of us together. What is this? Eight of cups. Okay, so this is abandonment, abandoning this stuff, separation or emotional setback here, bad situation or escapism, going to calmer waters, queen of swords, somebody's being very cold towards them, and GG may be uh, guarded here. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Uh-oh. Six of Swords, escaping and moving on, comma, water. So what was this other? Oh, wait, wait, what was this Eight of Cups here? That's, that's escapism too. That's leaving a bad situation. So he's leaving, she's leaving. <laughs> Knight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> okay. So this is being superficial or no self-control. Uh-oh. And that's on Gigi's side. So why is that coming up for her? Oh, a death card. Fuck it. Uh-oh. She's done with something here. She's pissed. All right. So what's <laughs> self-love here? Uh oh, temptation, the devil, toxic, could be just a Capricorn. And we have the Six of Cups. So this may be comforts of home, joyful past memories that she's thinking about and he is maybe tempted by things. Yeah, going forward towards something else. And what about her? Page of Pentacles. Okay, this is growing your money independently. This is goal oriented, financially grounded, diligent, ambitious. Okay, I never expected to fall in love so quickly as this with somebody else. Knight of Cups, this is an offer. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> what about her? Judgment. Okay, so, huh. This could be a transformation, a calling, or a purpose. Making good judgment calls when it comes to this. And this was about how they felt about one another. Three of Wands. So, with the Three of Wands, this is kind of like, um... <sighs> troubles ending. Some disappointments, possibly mixed loyalties. This is usually ships coming in, though. So, let's see. What's the judgment? The emperor. <laughs> so, she has an emperor coming in for her. Wow. What's this date? Whoa. Hello. So, somebody here. This is Zane. He is taking sanctuary. And, wow. Knight of Swords. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, this is somebody charging ahead, seizing the moment, ready for battle. And this is air energy. There's that air energy I was feeling. So, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, this is somebody that has dark hair, blue or hazel eyes, kind of olive. Um, or dark skin, tall, lean, and toned. Nice. All right. What is the outcome here? Because this is what they didn't see coming. He's going to try to get some sanctuary or <clears throat> try to heal from this. So what is the outcome? Ooh, the moon for him. So something maybe... I feel like an illusion or something like that. And Four of Pentacles, she's hanging on to something here. The Four of Pentacles is kind of like maybe saving financially. Whoa, so he doesn't see the Empress coming in for him. And what's this Four of Pentacles here? 
This is a page of swords who is watching her. So this knight of swords um, is kind of seizing the moment, unstoppable and coming in and looks like has been watching or maybe her social media, hanging on to her. The hermit is coming out of um, isolation, it looks like. And what about for Gigi? Strength. So she's going to have the courage to move forward. And he's coming out of, um, or he's feeling rejected here, and he doesn't like to feel rejected. So let's get a card each for these here. What's the truth here? Yeah, they're at a crossroads. And what about this deceit that we're seeing? Uh-oh. Okay, so and steady. Maybe there was a lot of options and gave a pentacle to somebody he maybe shouldn't have. What's this mature woman then? Somebody's watching something here. Maybe keeping a close eye or communicating with each of them, gaining useful information. Talking. Yeah, she's going to use her her intuition and I feel like this may be the court system about what to do about custody. I'm, I'm still feeling custody here. Oh, justice in reverse. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is Libra. So something is totally unbalanced here. Somebody's not doing something right or having to, um, I kind of feel like Feeling like something's unfair, karmic debts, hidden agenda, unwelcome change of some sort here, this burden. Alright, so was the guardedness and the Eight of Cups, which is a uh, setback or disappointments, escaping. Yeah, there's, it's about a challenge or someone trying to rise above the rest or has a, a position of um, advantage. So this is about planning the future here. Somebody's going to have to walk away. They're going to act on some type of chance. And somebody's giving self-love here. Know their worth. What's the chariot? Yeah, coming in with an offer here. This could be Zane offering her something here. What's the Emperor? Oh, he's getting a victory. Whoa! Hey, get back there. And uh, what about this? Uh, <laughs> what do we got? The date. What about this date with the Knight of Swords? Oh, this could be a love blessing here for her. And what's the Empress? Oh, this may be some type of truth coming in here. Maybe he has eyes for someone else. What is the Empress about on this truth card? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Because this is usually a breakthrough or a new idea or mental clarity. Oh, this is equal give and take. So he may have found somebody too here. Somebody new. Yeah, he can't stop thinking about her. So, wow. Okay, and what about the Hermit in reverse? Oh, cultivating whatever it is he's looking for or his wealth or cashing in and she's adapting her ships are coming in that love offer that she's looking for will be coming in shortly for her wow when might this happen for these two i feel like they're gonna meet other people they're not i don't feel like they're gonna get back together i think there's too much water under the bridge let's see you can carve something out four days, four weeks. So number four is safety, stability, structure, and foundation. All right. <clears throat> That's interesting. Okay, let's see. It's four days, four weeks, 10 days, 10 weeks. You will start all over again. So this is maybe when this happens. So maybe this all kind of is planned for whatever visitation rights here and 
they will start all over again with somebody new. Um, didn't Emperor come up for her? Yes. She's going to have to make a judgment call. There is love for both of them coming in. One is healing and one has the Knight of Swords coming in passionately here. He's seeing the Empress. She's seeing the Emperor. Hmm. Are they seeing one another here? Getting that truth. Equal give and take. And sleepless nights. Huh. I guess we'll have to find out next time. Everything is in progress. Eight days, eight weeks. So I feel like between four days and four weeks, they're going to figure out what they have in the court, maybe about custody rights or visitation rights, or maybe they alternate um, with that, or one looks after the majority of the time. And then they're going to start all over again, maybe with one another, or it could be with new people. Now, I feel like after that, um, everything will be in underway uh, and progress will come in. So we have 14 um, and then we have 18, 22 days, 22 weeks. Hmm. So things are going to turn around, but We'll have to find out if she is the Empress and he is the Emperor here. <laughs> so I guess we'll find out next time. So thanks for tuning in, you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> All right, you guys. Take care. Stay blessed. And we will see you next time. Later.